is usually mean more people are traveling and with that deputies say it could lead to more crime. All this week, the Graven County Sheriff's K-9 unit says they've been hard at work on our highways and byways. Now on your side, Sarah Gray Barr rode with the unit this week. She's joining us now in the studio. So Sarah Gray, what did you learn as you rode along? Yeah, Courtney, we are officially in the dog days of summer, which means it was a perfect time to highlight the canines that keep communities like Craven County safe. I with, met with the County Sheriff's K-9 unit to see what a typical day might look like protecting and enforcing the law. During the summer months, peop more people are out and about, especially on beach days, uh, your weekends, your Fridays, or your holidays. You have all that traffic going into, um, you know, down to Moorhead City and Jacksonville and Atlantic Beach and all of those areas. Making it a good time for law enforcement canines to be more visible. The goal for today is just getting people slowed down on the highway and make sure that we're out doing traffic enforcement. They can see us and see that we're out here, you know, doing our jobs. Sergeant Hopper has been with the sheriff's office just over five years, she tells me she came to start up their canine program. Yep, I'm coming. Right now, the department has eight dogs, five of them donated through the Throwaway Dogs Project with funding aid from FOSCO. So all of the dogs are trained in criminal apprehension, narcotics detection, and tracking. So they can do a little bit of everything. The canines' noses are so strong, they only need a slight scent of an odor to track. On one stop, drugs were found. It's actually quite common, but that's everywhere. I don't think that necessarily we are higher than anywhere else around the country. There's a lot of narcotics coming in through the borders, and uh, we are just seeing a lot of fentanyl and meth and cocaine coming through and marijuana coming through, and that's quite a significant amount higher than what we are used to. Another stop saw windows tinted too dark. Another? speeding. I got them clocked at 87, but the original speed on there was 95. Hopper says she's looking for traffic violations, but also suspicious behavior on the road. In the state of North Carolina, we are not required to have uh, any reasonable suspicion or anything to run the dog around a car and do a narcotic sniff. But of course, we're going to have, we like to have those other factors that make us go, hey, we might want to utilize this dog for. This is a small glimpse of the daily routine of canines in Craven County. Sergeant Hopper says the department never knows what the next crime scene, the next traffic stop might hold. And having tools like canines keep law enforcement safe. In studio, Sarah Gray Barr, nine on your side. Sarah Gray, thank you.